Hi, welcome to this short video demonstrating some key features of VREF, Aviation's most trusted valuation guide. Once you log into VREF, you'll want to go ahead and pick the aircraft type from our drop down list. For purposes of this demonstration, we are going to use the Mobardier Challenger 300. After you select the aircraft type, you'll notice some key features that are listed on the, on the page. You'll have market data and recent airworthiness directives. It's very important to review this information before continuing with your valuation as something might have changed in the market that we want you to notice. You'll also see a list of common modifications and conversions, along with add-ons, the engine type, and a graph showing you historical data about this particular make model or the index that it sits in. Before you start your valuation, please note that the base equipment list is located at the top and it should be reviewed to make sure that it is consistent with the aircraft that you are working with. VREF utilizes a base equipment list for each aircraft. It is common for our engine programs to be listed, so if your aircraft differs from what we have for our base equipment list, please go ahead and make the adjustments and we're going to show you how. The first thing you'll want to do is select the year of your aircraft. We'll use a 2009 for the demonstration. Click the airframe time tab and you'll see a screen that allows you to enter the registration number, the serial number, aircraft total time, and you can make adjustments for the engine's time since overhaul. VREF assumes midlife engines. So if your information differs from what we have in the guide, please make the manual adjustment. So we'll go ahead and assume that this aircraft has 2,000 hours total time. We'll hit update and that data is already placed within the value. We can now hit the tab for adds, deductions, modifications, and conversions. This will allow us to not only adjust our avionics stack for what we have in the flight deck of this particular aircraft, it'll also allow us to make adjustments for the specific equipment list in the aircraft. In this drop-down list you'll find common avionics as well as modifications for the aircraft. Things like ADS-B out, fans 1A, and Wi-Fi. So for this valuation we're going to add Wi-Fi, ADS-B out, ProLine 21 which is also another common add-on to this aircraft, and fans 1A. They all populate above. However, we can go ahead and make a manual entry. So let's assume that this aircraft has no engine program. We can enter that information here and then we're going to use a retail value for purposes of this demonstration of one million dollars. We'll hit add item and you'll note that this is a positive. So what we have to do is go ahead and make it a negative because we're removing a million dollars from the valuation not adding a million dollars to the valuation. You'll hit apply to evaluation. You'll note that the deduction shows up along with all the other add-ons that we made and it produces a summary of retail and wholesale here. You can make manual entries in this box for paint, interior, for damage, or for any other equipment that might not be considered normal or has an, a an STC. Once you are ready to create your valuation, you can go to the Generate PDF Print and Save, which will produce a drop-down box. You can enter who it was prepared by, who it was prepared for, select from the options below of what you want to include in your report, and then select Word or PDF and continue. Another key feature of VREF that I would like to point out are our new graphs. By clicking on your historic index graph, you will be able to, to, to bring up the historical value of any make and model. It's interactive, you can clearly see where pricing was, and this is very important so that you can make some assumptions about where pricing is going to be. If we go back to the main screen, and again we'll use the Challenger 300, and you now use the index, and it's very important that you go to the index. We're going to click the charts, and up will pop a series of charts now. You have the aircraft value historical chart like we had before. 
but you also have now key information and data about the economy. This chart shows GDP overlaid against the Challenger 300 historic market. This shows the Dow, again, overlaid against the Challenger 300. And what we're looking for is to either make correlations or determine whether or not some economic factor is having influence on the aircraft value. This is PPI. This is Fed Funds, LIBOR, and CPI. These are available for every index in VREF. And as we move forward towards the completion of our redevelopment of the platform, there'll be more and more charts available for specific make and models. This has been a demonstration of some key features of VREF. Thank you for taking a few minutes of your time to learn about VREF, Aviation's most trusted valuation guide.